Hello everyone and welcome to this Playwright tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn multiple ways to handle the basic authentication. So let's begin. First, let's understand the functionality itself, how basic authentication works. So for that, let me go to the browser here. And this is a very famous internet Heroku app for the practice. And here, if you go down here, so this is a basic authentication. So if I click on this one, then the username and password is admin. So if I click on this one, so what happens is that you will get this window and here you need to provide username as admin and password as admin. Then you need to click sign in so that you can navigate to the website. So once you provide the correct username and password, you will be entered into the website. And in this scenario, it will say congratulations, you must have the proper credentials here. So this is a uh, functionality basically and we need to automate this using the playwright. Now uh, let's go to the Visual Studio code here and let me create one new file here. So I'm going to make it as basic auth dot spec dot js and let me copy the basic code from the previous tutorials and let me paste it here. So this is the first first method here basically and this is very easy because uh, this is something which is usually people do when they are handling uh, with the basic authentication and and the basic basically what happens is that if you want to handle this one you need to provide the username and password into the url itself you can you will be appending the username and password into the url so this is the one technique and rest uh, we will discuss in this uh, tutorial so let let me copy the details from the previous script from here and paste it here so and here uh, the first thing is that we will be removing this script here and i'm naming it as basic auth and we need to go to this uh, website so this is this is the url basically and here uh, what we need to do is that we need to append the username and password this is a really basic thing here so let me copy this url from here and go back here and let me provide the url here and let me remove this line of code from here and here simply uh, what we need to do is that we need to append the username and password so before the domain name which is the internet Heroku app uh, we need to provide the username colon password okay and then at the rate side that's that's how uh, we can handle this one and now uh, basically we need to assert this one for that uh, i'm creating one variable here and inside that variable i will be you know capturing the text and so await page dot locator and now if i go back here so let me inspect this one here and go to the selectors hub here so this is our css selector let me copy this one and let me go back here so from this particular locator what i need is that i need a text so text context method will be used here and now what i will do is that i simply write a sessions i we haven't learned the sessions so far but in our upcoming tutorials i will create a detailed tutorial on the sessions but right now if you want to write a session simply expect and then your text text dot to so there are so many sessions here to contain and it should contains so it should contains congratulations so that's how we can make sure that our script is working fine here so simply let me provide this one and save this one here now let's run this one so npx play write test minus g and colon colon basic auth and then we will be running this one in a edit mode so uh, let's see what happens so it should open the browser and it should handle this basic authentication here 
we are landed on the congratulations page and let's see if our session is passed or not so it will assert this value and yes our test case got passed successfully right so this is uh, the one way of doing this one which is the easiest way and now we will see another way and in this particular approach what we will do is that we will define the basic authentication credentials first then we will encode so let me write the steps uh, first here and so that we can understand this thing so i am naming this file as basic auth one dot spec dot js and again let me copy uh, this basic line of code and paste it here and let me open a notepad here so that i can explain what we are going to do here so simply uh, the first step is that we gonna define the basic auth credentials this means that we will be defining the username and password then uh, we will encode we will encode the credentials we will encode the credentials as a base 64 string then after that we will set up a request interceptor to fill the basic auth and after that we will be asserting asserting so that asserting the results right so th this is uh, we gonna do in the our second approach here and now let's go back to the visual code here and i'm naming it as basic auth and naming as basic auth tech and here now let me in these lines from this code here and first thing is that as per our step we need to define the basic authentication so const i'm creating a variable called username and i'm giving the value which is the admin and then um, i'll be creating a password here and the password is again the admin here so this is our first step so we have basically define define the basic auth credentials okay credentials okay so this is what we have done this is really easy now the second thing is that we need to encode the credentials as base 64 string so this is what we need to do again i will be create a variable and i'm naming it as base 64 base 64 credentials and which is equals to we would be using a buffer interface here and buffer and from inside that we need to provide the first we need to provide the username and we need to use this sign here and inside this sign we need to provide a dollar sign first then in the curly braces we need to provide the username we are providing the username here and then after that colon and again dollar sign in the curly braces we need to provide the password here and once we will do this simply we need to string method will be used here and here it would be base 64 okay so here basically we are encoding the url encoding the credentials as a base 64 a string here okay now uh, what we need to do is that we need to set up a intercept here so let me write the comment here set up the request interceptor to handle the basic auth okay so uh, await 
then page dot route route will be used to intercept here and here we need to provide basically this one slash and static then we will be using our route here route followed by a callback or arrow function here and we will be using a body of this one so we are intercepting here and simply const uh, headers is equals to then the then the braces here so this is basically authorization here right so we will be saying authorization colon okay and we need to give you know basic basic then dollar sign and then now we need to provide this base 64 credentials and it contains this one okay which is it's used to encode the credentials as a base 64 string okay and now once we done this now uh after that we simply need to terminate this one here and then we will be routing route dot continue so we need to continue to the next page here so here we need to provide headers and then again a terminator so once we will do this simply we need to assert or go to the url first so page dot go to and here we need to provide the whole url till base auth right this is a url because in this particular url we are intercepting we are encoding okay so let me go here and paste this one here and now simply i will create one more variable here so page success uh, congratulations for that again await and page dot cater so basically i'm using the same assertion here so let me copy these two lines of code from here and paste it here so uh we are good to go with this one and now let's run this one so again npx play right test minus g and we need to provide the name of the test and the name of the test is basically uh, basic auth tech and we will be using the headed mode here so let's run this one and see what happens so it should successfully intercept this one and you see that it done successfully and we are on the basic auth congratulations speech and the assertion should also pass right so so in this way you can uh, you know uh, work with the basic authentication so there are two ways so one was really basic and simply here uh, what you need to do is that you need to append the username and password into the url and that's it this is a very simple way and the second way is a bit tricky here so uh, let me you know summarize the second approach here as well so first uh, what i did is that i simply created uh, two variables here for basic authentication credentials i provided the username and password here then i encode the credentials as base 64 string using the buffer okay and then i have intercept i created a request interceptor to handle this basic authentication and then i went to this page so that this interceptor can intercept this one and encode the credentials and pass this one and once it will be done then route.continue will continue to the next page here and finally here i am asserting to ensure that we are landing on the correct page thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial